Hello everyone, welcome to Maths IEC. This is an interesting A-level physics question on further mechanics. It's a short question, but it's a good one. So please pause the video and give this a try. When you want to check your answer against mine, continue the video. The hour hand and the minute hand of an analog clock overlaps exactly at 12 hours. So we can see at this point here, both hands are on top of each other. So they are overlapped. Find the time to the nearest second at which they overlap next. Now, here's what happens. So when time goes on, you know, the minute hand will move like that. That will go fast and the R hand will go slightly slowly. So what happens is obviously this will go further, it gets close to that, then this gets close to that and it comes to a certain point then at one o'clock it will be like that. Now this will pass it and you can see somewhere around here, I mean we need to find exactly where but just after one o'clock, there will be a point at which they overlap. So, my intention for this calculation is finding the angle, let's call this theta, between this dashed line and the point at which this overlap takes place. So, we know the time is one you know, a couple of minutes past one something, but we need to exactly work out what that time is. That is the question here. Let's consider the R hand first. For the R hand, we are going to write omega equals theta over t, and it completes a whole cycle, like starting from the beginning, it completes the whole circle, the two pi radians in 12 hours, because in one hour it'll go here, two hours, three hours, four hours like that all the way to the starting point in 12 hours. So the time is in seconds 12 times 3600. That's the number of seconds in an hour. So that is omega for the hour hand. Theta. We need to uh, consider the uh, angle here, right? Let's call it theta for the time being and let's say the time at which it happens is t. Right, let's call this one. Now let's consider the minute hand. Now, what we need to understand is from 12 o'clock until this overlap takes place, the hour hand only goes through an angle theta. So that's why we use theta here. But what about the minute hand? So if you remember how I did this at the beginning, like by moving the clock hands, the minute hand goes much faster, it will complete one whole cycle, which is two pi radians, and for the overlap, it has to go this theta angle as well. So I know the angle would be two pi plus theta. And it happens at the same time, that's what we are trying to find, at which time they overlap, so the time is state. Now what is omega for the minute hand? The minute hand, covers 2 pi radians in one hour, right? So in five minutes is here, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour. So one hour is 3,600 seconds. So that is my equation two. Now, we've done the hard part now. All we need to do is solve one and two simultaneously and find the value of uh, theta and then use that to get to the time. So let's do that. Now to simultaneously solve it, I'm going to make t the subject from this one and I'm going to make t the subject from this one and I'm going to just equate both of them. So here t is theta divided by 2 pi multiplied by 12 times 3600. That's all I did. Move the t to that side, move the 2 pi to this side, and 12 times 3600 next to the theta. So theta times 12 times 3600 over 2 pi. 
is equal to let's make t the subject from here so i'm going to make bring t to this side and to the right i have 2 pi and theta and i have 3600 divided by 2 pi so let's write it here 2 pi and theta multiplied by 3600 divided by 2 pi now this is very easy to simplify because I can see this 2 pi and 2 pi gets cancelled out. 3600 and this 3600 also gets cancelled out. So I get 12 theta is equal to theta add 2 pi. Move the theta to this side. 11 theta is equal to 2 pi. So I know theta is 2 pi over 11 and this is in radians the question is asking about the time so we know in a clock 2 pi radians or one full circle represents one hour because we are talking about the hour hand now what about one radian then Obviously, you have to divide both sides by 2 pi, so 1 over 2 pi hours. Now, we need to find the time represented by 2 pi over 11 radians, so let's write it here. 2 pi over 11 radians, so all I need to do is 1 over 2 pi, you need to multiply by 2 pi over 11. Now, this 2 pi and this 2 pi gets cancelled out. That gives us 1 eleventh of an hour. Let's convert this into seconds. So 1 eleventh of an hour, I need to multiply by 3600 to get the number of seconds. So here I get 327.27 seconds. Now, we know 300 seconds is 5 minutes. So this is 5 minutes and 27 seconds to the nearest second. Now, the question is the time. So the time will be 13, 05, and 27 seconds.